Take number three. Hey, friends. This is the third take. So the first take at this vlog, welcome everyone to the vlog, uh, was a 30-minute episode of me talking about the genocide that's happening right now and how depressing that is and how monstrous it is. The second attempt was going over the channel and live stuff and then depressing stuff, and that went for 20 minutes. So we're going to try to do a 10-minute cram session of all this. First thing to say is, it is, I think, good for you to just sit down and actually think about what is on your mind. And maybe even verbalize it like I'm doing here. You might sound insane because you're saying it out loud to yourself. But I think it's good because the more I've talked about it in the last hour about all this, the more I think I've just, the load's been lightened because I'm actually thinking about it and talking about it instead of it subconsciously burning in the back of my head. I sound insane by saying it like that, didn't I? But that's what's going on. So first, channel stuff. We have three channels. They are the main channel, the side channel, and Kirby's Dreamcast. What's going on with these three channels? First, you have the main channel. The main channel is voice LPs and Kirby LPs. That's all that's going on over there besides vlogs and specials that are very rare. At this point in our lives, we're just not doing recommendations anymore. No one gives a crap about that. Maybe a shorts version of it. Ooh! That'll take a lot of editing, and I'll do it myself, Jinx, but a 60-second recommendation? I gotta give that a shot! It'll be very hard, and it's not, like, really good for the game, but that's the world we live in! The shorts are the way to go, and nobody watches long-form recommendations. At least not ours. Really, what happened was there's just so many games out there, we're just inundated with so many great games, it's just hard to know what to pick. That's, that's just what it is. And shorts, honestly, I think the TikTok generation has just taken over. And so shorts. Shorts are going to happen. How are we going to do shorts? I like this idea I just said for shorts, so I'm going to think about that. But the shorts I really want to do, we'll get to it, wait. So main channel, Voice LP, Sunday, Voice LP, Sea of Stars is coming if it's not already out. I forget when we're going to do that, but Sea of Stars. Doing Voice LPs now because I just love learning doing voices. The more I do them, the more I get better at them. And I'm learning to get put to putting more emotion into the voices. So I am slowly leveling up. And any growth is good growth. So I am growing and I'm happy with it and that's what we're going to do. We're not going to do just random LPs anymore on the main channel unless we really, really, really want to do them. That's the only way. But see a Star's voice LP, and then after that, Super Mario RPG voice LP, which I cannot wait to do. But it'll be see a Star's first, and then that. So we're going to be late to the party, as we always are. But that's just how we be. Um, And then Sunday LP, maybe Leighton takes that over, or we just do Leighton on the regular. We'll see what we do with that one. It's really a question of how much load Jinx wants to handle there, because then there's the side channel, which is all me. I have like 100 episodes of uh, Elden Ring LP I never put out which I think I'm just not going to put out at this point. I have a 100-episode Tears of the Kingdom LP that I could put out, but I'm just not going to put it out either. Same thing with Hollow Knight, as fun as Hollow Knight was. Actually, I should scour that and see if there's some good clips in there. I don't know. Oh, main channel. So, shorts on the main channel. I like this idea that I just thought about for indie games recommendations for under a minute. But also, I think from now on, I'm just going to play games, LP them on Twitch, and record them, and if any good moments happen, I will make those into shorts and put them on uh, the main channel as shorts. Why I want to do that is because I have seen some channels where that's all they do, and honestly, I find it enjoyable. There's a guy named Hydro... Uh, Jinx can say the rest of the name. It's Hydro XC or something like that? Hydro X, something like that. This guy, all he has is shorts, and they're really good, because he's mainly a, a Twitch streamer. He just puts his shorts on YouTube, so he has that there, too. And his shorts are very good. He's a very entertaining guy in short form. And because of that, I'd like to see if I can get better at that. Because LPs, I don't really like watching LPs necessarily, unless I really, really, really like the person. I won't just watch a random LP. So, yeah. I, I think very quippy, snip, snippy, snappy, whatever. Just quick stuff for shorts would be good, and we'll see if any of that happens. They happen on occasion, so I think we could do well with shorts there. Side channel! Only Kirby LPs at this point are going to be on there. Well, main channel is going to get the new games. Uh, all the stuff as I'm working to 100%ing for the podcast, going to be on the side channel. Kirby's Dreamcast. Go aiming for a new video every month. We'll see how long that lasts. Last month was a new anime episode. This month will be Star Stacker. I'm also working on episode 20 for the old episodes to catch up on that. 
And then December will be either the second light novel or a new anime episode. We'll see. We're not there yet. The plan is to do one new episode every month, if I can help it. Hopefully it sticks. Here's the thing. We have still 50 plus episodes of anime to go. We have 20 plus games to go. There's 20 plus light novels to do. There are so many mangas. There's a lot of Kirby content, even at one a month, where we'll be doing this for like 10, 20 years. So I'm not worried about content. It's just we both have day jobs, so we can't get as we can't do as much as we could. Remember when I wanted to do this weekly? Remember when we pulled that off for a little bit? <laughs> when we didn't have jobs? <sighs> so that's what's going on with the channels. That's what's going on with the channels. Um, oh yeah, shorts. So anyone who's a fan of the podcast, if you have any moments in the podcast you think that would make good shorts, tell me. Because I'm going to go back and watch them and like, oh, this seems like a good moment as a short, as advertising for the podcast, and make that a short. I think the light novel, I got a couple of good spots I can think of for that. And things like that. And yeah, yeah. Um, shorts. Shorts do work. I've seen people have amazing growth with shorts. So we'll experiment with that ourselves. Because the thing is, with shorts, it's just, I'm guilty of it myself. Watch a short, scroll down. 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 I'll go through like 30, 40 shorts, and I'm like, oh god, where'd my time go? I've done that, and it's bad. I'm like, okay, just do like a 10 short limit or something, so I can do some things and get things done. Now, life. How's life going? Life is going like this. And I talked about this in Ruminate on the last version. Because I'm trying to not sound like an asshole, but at the end of the day, you are who you are, you like what you like. And I don't want anyone to feel bad if I don't like things that they like or like things that they are. But it is what it is, to an extent. And that is, you have to understand that a lot of people don't like you that don't know you. They don't like anything that you would represent, and that's just how it is. Like, a lot of people... Well, that's actually just normal when you think about it. You just think about politics. There's all these people on the right who effing hate people on the left for no reason besides the fact they're of that political party. And same thing, vice versa. That's unfortunate. They don't really know the character of a person. They just know what? Political belief? That's it? Jeez, okay. I have a bleeding heart. So I try to feel like, okay, there's got to be people on the right who aren't monsters. And they exist. There's just a lot of monsters there, too. I think the left doesn't have some, but it ain't the same volume. It ain't the same volume whatsoever. Like Jinx hates that at both sides it, and I really do have to qualify with like, yeah, there's some assholes on both sides. There's just a lot more on this side. Alright. Where am I? Where am I? Where am I? Okay, yeah, okay, yeah. Okay. Personal life. Uh Scarf hired a matchmaker. It cost a couple thousand. Um why? Because ain't nothing else working out. I'm like, I'm an older man. I can't approach women the way I used to approach women. Just doesn't work that way. Also, dating has to change the game as well. And all I get are bots. And when I finally got that one girl uh, to go two dates, it just didn't go well. Just didn't. So felt like a matchmaker might help out. So I, d I went and hired one. And then uh, I also get a complimentary dating coach. I'm like, eh, that doesn't sound like a bad idea. I'll do that too. She was like, they're both hot ladies. Like, really? Just didn't... All right, I'll take it. But like, why? All right. And Jinx made this joke. It's a Simpsons joke. She's like, do you come with the car? <laughs> He's like, wait, wait, why are you shredding my file? Wait, come on, hold on. It was a joke. Wait, <laughs> also a joke from Jinx. Like, here's the thing. My matchmaker looks a lot like uh, one of my exes. So I'm like, okay, here's the deal. If you can get a girl who looks like you, who likes guys who look like me, I think you'll, you'll do pretty well. <laughs> I'm going to try to eat, say that at some point because it's kind of true. Well, in one way, it's true. Because track record, she does look like one of my exes. So it's like, and I liked her a lot. So here's the thing with me, and this thing I need to work on narrowing down, and hopefully I can figure this out with the matchmaker. And that is, I like women a lot. I like all kinds of women a lot. I've been with a lot of different kinds of women. I'm attracted to a lot of different kinds of women. But at this point in my life, I should narrow it the hell down. And I narrowed it down to Asian, because I'm like... It's what I grew up with. It's what I understand. As much as I like other cultures, um, I don't know if that would go well as a family setting. So I just picked Asian. Just all the Asian brackets, I picked all that. And I, the one that I held on to, I'm like, do I, do I not, was, was Caucasian. 
Because the thing is, Caucasian can mean so many things. But thinking about my Caucasian friends, <laughs> my white friends, they don't really mesh well with uh, the culture that I that I've grown up with. Like they they do have openly judged some of the things about my family structure. I'm like, it is what we are. Like I I live in a generational home. Well, they're more like you get thrown out of ha out of your house at eighteen. You have to figure it out yourself. Well, for me, it's there's it's generations. Generations live in one home. It's just something I'm used to. It is a very uh, Asian thing and a very Mexican thing. Honestly, have you seen Encanto? So there's that. I guess you can say South American, but no, I was in Mexico. Um, so there's that. And Asian cultures are more used to that. They're very used to generational home. Can uh, in comparison to white. <laughs> um, so that's why I chose all Asian. And then I was like, they were like, wait. I'm like, well, I can't necessarily pick wait. I gotta do this with the matchmaker, get more nuance in there. And that, like, there is a level of bigger girl I like, and that is, I like muscle women, and they are on the bigger side. But I'm talking like, so what I like is big, but fit. That's what I like. Not big and, well, big. Um, I have been with big and big, and nothing against them. It's just that's not where I'm at in my life at this point. I am trying to get to a fitter place in my life. I've lost a lot of weight. I've lost tens of pounds, and I want to lose more and get fitter. And it's not going to happen if your partner isn't in that area, too. Like, if I'm with someone who's into fitness, or at least some sort of activity, then I'm more prone to being more active, too. If I'm with someone who is more sedentary, I'll be more sedentary too. So that is what I'm trying to shy away from. But I love you big girls too, don't but it's just not where I'm at right now. So everything for me is more like big but fit and then smaller from there. Like that's the way I'm seeing it. So like but fit is some level of fitness is definitely a plus for me. Because that's what I'm heading towards is more fitness. And then, like money bracket, I was like, in my in my degree, in my range, I make six figures. I'd want her to make six figures so that we are both understanding the same like level of capitalism. I did grow up poor, so I understand poor to mid level, and I have no understanding of the high the higher class. But I still put myself open to that because, like, well, they make seven figures. They make seven figures. <laughs> they might not understand the plight I've been through, but if we get together, they don't need to worry about the plight I've been through. <laughs> That's the way I see it. And that's not going to happen. It's most likely going to be in my bracket. But if it does happen, it does happen. It'd be interesting. A different journey in life. But the way I put it was just that. And then I, last version I talked about stay-at-home uh, parents, and I have nothing against that. The thing is, where I live, you can't do it. You need to have both parents together make over six figures if you want to survive in my city. Because I'm in the most expensive city in the country right now. You ain't gonna make it any other way. Well, you can, it's just a very long struggle. And I'd rather my family live comfortably than struggle, to be honest. So, it's gotta be with someone who understands that too, and we both just get, make it work together. And since Generation Home, we have relatives who can do the babysitting for us. Um, Let's see here. That's the personal life going on there. I just, I kept getting bots after bot after bot in dating apps. I'm so tired of it. So a matchmaker will get me guaranteed dates. We'll see how it goes. I'm at to put down a bunch of money over at like Nordstrom and get some really nice threads so I look nice for the first couple dates before they see the Kirby's. <laughs> that's the thing. It's not like third date will you sleep with me. It's like third date, do you like Kirby? I think that's how it's going to be for me. My God. All right, after that, then I talked about genocide. So, basically, what's happening is terrible, and we're just getting worse. And here's the thing, here's the thing. The news is important, but the news is also to blame, because the news needs you to watch them, so the news needs to make you scared, so you keep watching them. And so, the news keeps making the, the loud minority look like the loud majority, and it's very worrying, because by doing that, it scares more and more people. I am so tired of people at work just being so scared of so much stuff. I was like, no, that is the minority. 
But they can creep into your world, of course, because they're still people. And then I talked about um, just how inhuman the genocide is, because it very much is, but it is also human. World War II proved it. Many other things have proven it. And then I came to the realization is that, here's the thing. Israel has been a total dick to Gaza for a very long time. And this is just the most worst version of it this time. But retribution was warranted, but this level of retribution is insane. They're killing hundreds of people to kill, like, one dude every time. Like, they're killing a lot of people. Like, is that the price worth paying? Killing so many innocent people to kill an awful person. At, a, at that ratio. And then, going deeper into just how Israel just looks at Gazans as not human. And we have proof of that in the past as well, because of course you have the Nazis, but you also have Japan. Japan also treated the Chinese and Koreans as not human as well. And they did some very awful human testing on them because of that. And that is monstrous, and that is awful. And that is inhumane, but also human at the same time, because it is something humanity keeps doing. Countries do awful things to other countries because they do not see them as human because they are not their people. It has happened throughout history and it's happening again now and it is awful and that sucks. I have boiled that down to two minutes when originally I was like 30 minutes of talking about it. Well, there was more about it. It was like about depression, things like that. Because Then I went over to how we are so lucky to be born in a country where we're not getting bombed or getting killed because of that. We still have our issues like gun, sh gun, uh, like sh school shooting, things like that, but not that. Like, I am very much blessed to be born where I am, even with all of my depression and suicidal thoughts and all that stuff. I am very much blessed. And then I ruminated on just like depression and how it gets compounded by how things are worse in other places and you use that to make yourself feel worse. And it's really a terrible thing. It's very unfortunate. But really, like, the genocide is no excuse to feel worse about yourself just because you're in a better place. That's not useful use of your time or energy. More useful use of your time and energy is to actually speak up about this, to talk about this, to try to get it to stop. Volume is the only way that people like you and me can get it to stop, and that's actually talking about the genocide, actually clearing up really silly things about it as well. Like the genocide, like, yeah, genocide, no, no, Holocaust 2.0. That thing is a very silly thing that just came out. Some are taking it as people are calling for a second Holocaust of the Jews. I have taken it, and I believe it really is this version of just, they're saying that what Israel is doing is the second Holocaust. They're doing it to someone else because it was done to them. And that's the way I take it, and that's the way I see it. But others are trying to conflate it as it's some people are calling it for them. And I don't believe that was the original interpretation in it at all. And we've gone long enough. I, I condensed so much this time, though. So, come on, Jinx. Don't be mad at me. Um, that is it. That is the vlog. Uh, I think I said everything. There may or may not be a vlog next week. I don't know. I don't think I'm going to have anything to talk about. I really don't know. But we'll see. We'll see. That is the vlog. I have fun. Hope you're watching. That's what's all about. It. Having fun. Thanks goodbye and see you next time. Bye 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 bye